morning. Welcome to Get Real Bass Fishing. It's May 3rd and we're out here on Forge Pond, first official trip of the season. And we're here in, in celebration of Polly's birthday. So, uh, we'll, but we'll talk about more of that later. This morning I want to do a little devotion from Jimmy Houston's Catch of the Day. And uh, the scripture comes from 2 Kings 25. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears, so I will heal you. It goes on to say, May is one of the really great months to fish in most of America. You have fish in pretty much all stages of the spawn, and you can catch bass in a variety of ways. Pick your favorite lure and technique, put your foot on your Minn Kota, and get after it. At the end of the day, you should have some great str string stretching memories. If only May could last forever. God has allotted each of us only so many Mays and just a certain number of days through King Hezekiah. God gives us an example of adding to one's life. It's one of my favorite Bible stories as God adds years to the king's life. What a great example of the power of prayer. Proof positive, God answers prayer and nothing is too tough for him to handle. And I guess that's true as we uh, go through our daily lives of seizing the opportunity, just like we do in fishing, to reach out to those who, who don't know Christ. And what a better opportunity than to, to get somebody out on the water and enjoy God's creation. And, and I mean, look at this morning, it's just beautiful out here. It's light breeze, we're pretty much uh, all to ourselves out here. And uh, we're looking for a, a God-given beautiful day. So uh, as we get into fishing and you uh, watch along with us, our prayer is that through our videos and, and through Get Real Bass Fishing and what we do, that you see the light of Christ through us, and, and that's part of our ministry. So stay with us, and uh, we'll see you out on the water. Birthday gift. Thanks, bro. I don't want to damage them. <laughs> Birthday gets. Check that out. Right there. Pickle on a cream worm. So when your worm is all death like that, take a lighter. Don't burn yourself. You use it back together. Well, still using a six inch scoundrel on a six foot eight medium vest.
back in the shallow part of this very shallow lake. Gotta try to get some shallow running fish. It worked last year. Scoundrel again. Give me a trick. Man, I got you like a death grip. Yeah, what it is. Just came out of the weeds back here. Line ordeal. It's just it's a big waste of time. Right, I'm using this lure in this position. What pound test and what kind of line do I use? 70 pound test for a two pound bass on a two inch one. 30, 30, 30 foot leader. So it doesn't even Scoundrel. Fortunately, the uh, GoPro was turned off, so we didn't get the hook set on that guy. I'm trying to conserve battery power. Uh, that's cold too, even though we're back in the shallows, where it's a little bit warmer. Uh, he likes uh, tree worms. It's uh, a joke. I got my worm stuck in a tree, fell down, and uh, that's when he hit it. So. Ha ha ha, it's funny funny. See, bird's left. Alright, there's another bass.
after, what, what did you say, two hours? After hours and hours and hours, man. Nothing. Came back into the non-windy area and uh, hooked into this nice bass on a... Why are we going, sir? Alright, well, we just hooked into another bass on a section scoundrel and uh, it's a beautiful bass. We, did, we were just in the wind, came into the non-windy area. Managed to hook into him. Jumped a few times. Nice fight. Okay, crappie from Forge Pond. About 14 inches long on a windy day. First fish I got all day. Another crappie on my joint and baffler, Forge Pond, second fish of the day. A nice size, pretty colors. There we go. Alrighty, put them back. Bye bye, little fella.